So hello guys, welcome back. In the previous video, we have learned how to detect the common gestures in Android Studio. These gestures include tap, double tap, swipe, gestures, etc. But there may be a condition when a user want to detect a specific custom gestures like letter A or letter B, cross, tick, cross, or circle like gestures. So these are called custom gestures and Android SDK provides a specific way to detect these custom gestures. So we will learn how to detect these custom gestures in this video. So stay tuned and watch the video till the end. So guys, to detect custom gestures, you first have to create the gesture file which contain the code for these custom gestures. Then we will write some code to detect the custom gestures and the Android will compare the detected gestures with the code saved in that gesture file. If both are matched and the comparison ratio is greater than 1, then the Android Studio will prompt us for that specific gesture. So first of all, we will create our custom gesture file. To create gesture file, we need an application from the Play Store Gesture Builder application. So from here, install this application, accept the permission, So our application has been installed. So open the application. And from here, let's add some custom gestures on this application. Click on the add button. And first of all, we will create letter A. Click save button and write its name letter A. In the same way, let's create another gesture, letter C, save its name as letter C. Let's create another gestures, the tick mark and save its name tick mark. Another gesture will be cross. So guys, our file contain these four gestures, A, tick mark, cross and letter C. So now we have to take out this gesture file from this mobile phone. So let me show you the location of this file. So the location of the file will be in the file manager and from here go to internal storage. And from here go to Android in the data and from here go down and search for pack gesture app. So here we have this file gesture.txt. This file contain the code for all gestures like we just have created letter A, C, tick and cross. We have to take out this file. So it is fairly easy to take out this file from the mobile. You can write. So for this go to C drive from the users and in the username. Now open the command prompt and from here write the command adb dash pull now let's write the location SD card over Android over data over pack dot gesture app. The location we just have seen. Let me correct pack dot gesture app. 
this is the location we just have seen and click enter button so as you hit the enter button you can see we have packdoor jester app folder created in our pc and the content of that file is now available at this location so remember this location we will use this location to add this file into android project so now let's come to the android studio and from here let's create a new project select the empty activity and click next and from here we can write the name of our application as custom gesture so we are all okay with all other settings and click finish button so let's wait a while until android studio is making this project ready for us so okay guys our project is ready for the development so first of all we have to include that gesture file we just have created in this project for this make a directory in the resource folder file new directory and give the name as raw for this directory and press enter now copy this gesture file and paste into our directory so okay guys our gesture file is included into this project now we have to include some dependencies and write some code to detect the gestures let's do it so first of all now let's create a gesture overlay layout in our application for this we have to go the activity main xml file and from here delete this text view and create an object of gesture overlay view class for this we will write and try it dot gesture dot gesture overlay view let's give some height and width for this width match parent in the same way we have to create its id as wizard gesture that's it so guys this gesture widget will detect all the custom gestures being drawn on this view so now let's come towards the code now let's write some code to detect the gesture on this widget for this we have to import some dependencies let's do it so first of all we will need import and write gesture gesture library in the same way So guys these four dependencies gesture libraries library overlay and overlay dot on gesture perform listener so we will have to implement the interface for detecting the gesture and this will require some methods to implement let's add this method into this project so now let's create an instance of gesture library now we have to take the object of this gesture library initialize this library with our gesture file object file is object gesture lib is equal to gesture libraries and from here from raw resources give this context 
and the path of our file gesture so if because of some reason if our gesture file is unable to load we will finish this application gesture lib file is unable to load we will finish this application so now let's register the event for the gesture detection for this we will write gestures overlay is equal to gesture overlay and give the id of our gesture widget so our gesture widget is accessed now let's add listener so okay our listener event is registered successfully so when user will make some gesture we will receive our gesture event into this method now let's write some code to detect the gesture and process it for this we have to include some more dependencies let's do it so this dependency will give us some prediction about the gesture now let's add some toast library In the same way, let's add some array dependency. Now let's come to the on gesture perform listener and here we will make an array of all predictions coming. So if the prediction score is greater than 1, we will process it, otherwise we will going to ignore it. Now let's take the name of the gesture being received. So now let's make the toast. So okay guys our code is written to detect the gestures now let's build the application select the device and build the application into our mobile phone let's wait a while until android studio is building our project into our phone so guys our project is launched now let's make the gestures we just have drawn for this let's make a gesture a boom it is saying that we have written letter a in the same way let's make letter c boom letter c is detected let's make tick mark is detected in the same way let's make cross cross is detected so guys hope you have enjoyed the video we have successfully designed the gestures our custom gestures and detected in our application so this is enough for this session see you in next video